What's up my crew members, my name is Andrew from the Superhero Crew. We got another Marvel News video for you guys. I haven't done one of these in a while and I want to start doing these more often when Marvel puts out some new stuff. I also want to do this stuff when DC puts out interesting things which they haven't really been doing. But we'll see what happens with DC. Oh, they're annoying me. But anyway, I don't want to get into it, but we're going to be talking about some new books that are coming out in September that Marvel put out in an article, and I'm going to have that linked down in the description. But before I talk about that stuff, if this is your first time here, why don't you consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this, and also weekly comic book reviews for stuff that comes out every week, and also X-Men videos and Lego videos as well. But yeah, so let's take a look at this article. You might notice the different shirt. That's because it's a new day, because in the article, they actually put in another book. I this wasn't this book wasn't here when I did the video yesterday, and I went back to the article today, and they added a new book. So I'm just going to talk about that really quick. We have Avengers number 24. I am reading the mainline Avengers book, and it is pretty good. It's Jason Aaron, so obviously it's pretty good. And on the cover, it looks like the Avengers are going to be fighting the Cosmic Ghost Rider. And it says, the challenge of the Ghost Riders. We've been teased a little bit of something going on with the Spirit of Vengeance and the Ghost Rider. We saw Johnny Blaze uh, with uh, Robbie Reyes in, I believe, Hell or wherever that was previously, and uh, it's, here it says, if the Avengers thought one Ghost Rider was tough to deal with, wait till they see how many spirits of vengeance have just been unleashed by the King of Hell, Johnny Blaze, including the craziest, most powerful writer of them all. That's right, it's the Avengers versus the Cosmic Ghost Rider. So, looks like Johnny Blaze is the King of Hell now, and he's unleashing the different spirits of vengeance upon the Avengers and stuff like that. So that's going to be pretty interesting to see. I, I'm kind of excited, and I'm really liking that Avengers book ever since the first arc. I, you know what? Actually, I have to say something, though. The first arc of this series was a little iffy, and I wasn't too sure if I was going to continue reading it, but I kept with it, and it's been pretty dang good. So I'm excited to see where this goes as well. And uh, yeah, so back to uh, me from yesterday, I guess. First things first is New Mutants War Children number one. Chris, Chris Claremont is back with doing a New Mutants book, or well, he's back writing an X-Men type book. And yeah, I, I will not be getting this because Rob from X Corner will be talking about this when it comes out. But let's hear what Rob has to say, his, what his thoughts are about this book. This is Rob from the X-Corner, cutting in, and there's some X-related stuff to talk about. First, the video never even mentioned Chris Claremont and Bill Sienkiewicz reuniting to do a new Mutants tale from back in their history. It shows how much Marvel could care less about this book. I assume since they keep Claremont on retainer, they thought they might as well put something out he's written. Claremont has had some health issues over the past decade which have affected his writing, but still the guy's a legend. And to see him with Sienkiewicz, I'm very excited. These two combined in the 80s to make an epic run that made you care about the B-team of mutant students when the X-Men were at their height. If even a fraction of that magic, no pun intended, is captured, this will be a great book. Thanks Rob. Stay tuned for Rob's videos on this book when they come out. Next we have Tony Stark Iron Man number 16. I really wanted to read the Tony Stark Iron Man book and it is by Dan Slott and he's... I, Heard good things about Dan Slott. Wasn't too fond of the Fantastic Four book of that. And anyway, but this seems pretty interesting. There's a new machine uprising, and it's not by Ultron this time. It's by Machine Man. So that's pretty interesting. I might have to start reading this book now, this series. That seems pretty interesting. I like that idea a lot. So this time it is an Ultron. Machine Man. And Machine Man's a cool character, too. And from what the description says, it seems like it might be a kind of robot civil war with Tony Stark and a bunch of different AIs. So that'll be kind of interesting to see. But we'll see what happens if I even get the book. Next, we have Guardians of the Galaxy, The Prodigal Son, number one. We're going to have a Fantastic Four one, one shot as well, and then this one shot for Guardians of the Galaxy, and then one in the middle. I don't remember what, what that's going to be, but it's going to be like a three-issue, one-shot, mini-series type thing about this 
like event thing that's kind of going on. They did that for Typhoid Fever, which was the whole Typhoid Mary event. It was Spider-Man, X-Men, and then Iron Fist. They were three one-shots that told a story. It was they instead of doing a limited series, they did a one-shot. It was kind of interesting to do that, and they're doing it again with the Prodigal Son. I'm obviously going to be getting this because I love little stories, like not like the big overarching events. I do like me some little one-shots and limited series that go on. So this might be pretty interesting. And and it, this one is written by Peter David, and that Incredible Hulk last call one shot was fantastic by Peter David. So I have faith in him for this one shot, but we'll see what happens. Stay tuned for the videos on that, because I'll definitely be talking about those. Next, we have King Thor number one, written by Jason Aaron, and Jason Aaron's a pretty damn good writer, okay? He's writing the Conan and Avengers book and War of the Realms, three great books that are going on right now. But will I be getting this book? Probably not, because it is like the conclusion to Jason Aaron's whole overarching story that he's, Thor story that he's been doing and writing for years. And I thought that would culminate with War of the Realms. No, it's culminating in King Thor number one. And apparently it's in like the far flung future where Thor is old and he's fighting like an older Loki and stuff like that. Okay, I guess Loki didn't die in War of the Realms, which obviously he didn't because we're getting a Loki series in about a month, so a month or two, so whatever. But like I said, I'm not going to be getting this, even though I'm sure that this is going to be really good, but I'm not really, I haven't really been caught up with the whole Jason Aaron Thor series, the whole overarching years long storyline that he's been writing, so I probably won't be getting this book, unfortunately. Now, all the books so far have been okay or whatever, but the next book I'm super excited for, Strike Force number one, okay? Look at this. We have Angela, Blade, Spider-Woman, Wiccan, the Winter Soldier, Monica Rambo, and Damien Hailstorm. Damien Hailstorm and Blade, those guys I really like, so this is going to be a really awesome book, and it seems like that this is going to be like X-Force, but for the Avengers, which is kind of cool. This is the, this is the like an Avengers team that's going to be doing the dirty work, I guess, for the Avengers, maybe, and it looks like it's going to be run by Blade, because Blade did join the Avengers in the main Avengers book, and... Uh, I guess he's gonna get this team together to do the Avengers dirty work. There is the set. There is a the Savage Avengers book that's going on, which is pretty good. But it's not like an official Avengers book. Like it's not like uh, Black Panther, who's the leader of the Avengers right now. He he didn't tell Wolverine, "I need you to do this and this and this." No, it's that's I guess just the name of the book, which is weird, but okay. So that Savage Avengers book is like over there. It has nothing to do really with the Avengers, but the Strike Force book seems like it might be like a team that the Avengers have made. And I did want to see a um, the, the the Warriors of Wakanda that they that Black Panther made because that was a cool team. It was like Kazar and stuff like that. That's a pretty interesting team. I wish that becomes a book, but it probably won't unfortunately, but we are getting this book, and this book seems like it'll be pretty dang good, and that cover is sexy as hell. Next book, we got a Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order Dark Temple number one. Damn, that's a mouthful, but this is a preview, pre prequel thing to the, the uh, Star Wars Jedi uh, Fallen Order video game that looks really good. Check out the E3 stuff for that, and I will not be getting this just because I'm not reading any of the Star Wars books at all that are coming out. Unfortunately, I stopped bef for the main Star Wars book. I stopped before issue 50 and I was reading Poe Dameron and I was kind of like, okay, when is this going to end? When is this going to end? When is it going to end? And it kept going. But yeah, this is definitely going to be a mini series, a like little preview thing for that game, and I'm kind of excited for the game, but I definitely won't be getting this book, unfortunately. The next book seems pretty interesting, The Web of Black Widow, number one, written by Jody Hauser. That cover is pretty cool. I do like the cover, and it says that it is a great introduction to new readers, basically, for Black Widow. So I will be getting this because I kind of wanted to read Black Widow's, the Black Widow books, and I, she did have a mini series, but it looks like she's actually going to have a new ongoing book. And it's cool to see her get an ongoing book. She only had that mini series recently, and I hope that this book doesn't reference 
that mini series because I didn't read that mini series, but I wanted to. Yeah, so I'm definitely gonna get this, and I like that title too, Web of Black Widow. But it being a like title like that, and not just Black Widow, makes it seem like that it will be a mini series. Unfortunately. But we'll see. I'm hoping it's an ongoing series. Let's give Black Widow some love, because, you know, after Endgame, you know, with what happened with that. So next we have Miles Morales Spider-Man number 10, which is the 250th issue of Miles Morales. Holy crap. So this is going to be a milestone issue that's going to happen. And it's written by Salim Ahmed, who I do like. And the Miles Morales series that's going on is pretty good. I do like it, but will I continue it? Maybe after issue 10, because I was, I, I was, I'm debating whether to get issue 7 this week. I probably will, but I'm, I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to drop the book. It's, 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 it's on there. I, I might be dropping the book. Um, it looks like we have this new character, and also it says the Ultimate Universe is going to be haunting him. Now, I don't know what's going on with this crap. The whole House of X and Powers of X thing that's going on. Issues 4 and 5, we have covers for those. I don't know what's going on here. I, I don't really care too much, because I know that Rob is probably going to be talking about this stuff. The House of X and Powers of... Wait... It's called Powers of Ten, not X? That's so dumb. I hope these fools were joking. They seem to be really excited about Apocalypse and Sinister on the covers, which to be frank means they don't read X-Men, since both villains have been around quite a lot recently. Also, I didn't know Poison Ivy was an X-Men villain, as seen on the variant cover. The more I see of these teases, the more I'm afeared. I love Hickman, but these look like desperate attempts to make the X-Men popular again, which never works. Let them be what they are. And when the new Marvel versions of the movies come out, have some cool comments to go with them. We don't need a reboot, soft or otherwise. After failing to kill off the X-Men so many years, when they were at Fox, and they left the X-Teams to their own devices, it looks like the editorial might succeed in ruining the X-Men with their new hands-on approach. I hope I'm wrong, but as I say, only time will tell. Now back to Andrew. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I want to know what you guys think about the books that I talked about in this video. Go check out the article, read the descriptions, and come back and comment down below and let me know what you guys think about these books because I want to hear from you guys, okay? My opinion doesn't matter, okay? It's what your opinion is. I want to know what you guys think. We could either argue or have a civil discussion down in the comments below. I don't really care. I just want to talk comics. And also, check out the Discord server linked in the description. We can talk about the stuff there as well. But uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it, and I will see you in the next one.